All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, on a problem like this, this usually gets a lot of students. Um, usually students don't have a problem with addition, subtraction, multiplication, but then they always, for some reason, always have a problem with division. And I think it's just because of fraction. They want to avoid fractions, Danielle, and they don't really always want to face them. Now, again, all I'm asking, Tamisha, is when you look at this, just ask, what is happening to the variable? And you can see that the variable is being divided by 2. Well, what did Brett say was the inverse operation of dividing by 2 is to multiply by 2. So we multiply by 2 on both sides. Now, I am taking my variable x, I am multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2. That pretty much just reduces that down to 1. 1 times x is just going to leave you with x, which is equal to negative 7 times 2, which is negative 14. Okay.